Welcome to my bookshelf. Yes, this is a bookshelf tour video. We're finally doing it. I get a lot of compliments on my bookshelf. I did recently colour coordinate it. But before we get into it, I feel like I have to say a few things. I am a collector of books. I'm an aspiring reader of books. I do read quite a lot, but by no means have I read all of these. This bookshelf is basically a visual to be read list. Also I very much want to have a personal library. I like having a bookshelf and a display of books because I like it when people come here and they're like, oh, she's a reader. This is very much tied to my identity or my aspiring identity. I just like owning books, okay? So bottom shelf here we have like some books, but it's this is more of the miscellaneous. Over here is my like immediate TBR and also my book. <laughs> I just keep my book here. The ones behind it are like priority reads. So we've got Man Up, which is the next Banging Book Club book. Americana, actually kind of been on my priority read list for forever, but it's fine. Then we get to the yellow section. We'll go through how many I've read. One, two, three, four. I've read an abridged version of that when I was a kid. So four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half. Seen the film, so nine. <laughs> this here, is the Harry Potter section. We've got my, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good poster. This was a birthday present from another old colleague, which is like a wine bottle that's like Hufflepuff. Ah! There's a wand, I think this one's Newt Scamanders that I got from the Fantastic Beasts or Pottermore people. This is a love potion. They had them at this Pottermore event and it's actually filled with alcohol and I haven't drunk it yet. I just thought I'd keep it. I'm sure it's still okay because alcohol keeps for ages. Then over here we've got some like weird books, you know, like five on Brexit Island and like old like Ladybird books and then some like parody ones. And then this book has got my initials on it and it is my lending library where I keep note of all the books that I've lent to people. And who has them? Because I forget. Lucy has the life-changing magic of not giving a fuck. This is a book that my sister designed and made. It's like our family book with photographs. All the family members. It's kind of adorable. That's me and my sister. <laughs> Hogwarts Library. Haven't actually read any of these. Fake fan. Hufflepuff edition of the Philosopher's Stone. Cursed Child. I do actually own all of the Harry Potter books, they're just in my parents' house. Then, kind of creeping into the Harry Potter section, we have Lord of the Rings. Only read The Hobbit. I haven't read these. Not sure if I ever will, but I like the set. It looks pretty. Then we've got Queenie. Got all four of the Hogwarts founders. Definitely did some, like, trading and bartering with friends. They come in chocolate frog packets and I just kept one because why not? And two Instax cameras that don't even have any film in them. Let's move up. We have the red section. Three have been read out of that. I can't remember if I've read Life of Pi or not. I feel like I have, but I don't think I have. I will say, doing the job that I do and talking about books, I do get sent a lot of books. Like I even got sent today, got sent one, two, three. So those are three new additions to the shelf just from today but obviously have not read yet what's significant in this section lena and lucy are coming over later to record the banging book club episode about this one so i should probably take this out because it's got all of my turned over corners and notes in it so we'll need that for reference over here is what i like to call the white feminism section because for some reason a lot of books by women who are feminists and just happen to be white publishing likes to put them with white covers on a few examples <laughs> oh that one as well part of me like wants to return to a bit of a more organized by genre kind of thing because when i'm looking for a book i'm like i don't remember what color the spine is there's the gray -y browny. I don't even know what to say about some of these. Then we've got the pink, greeny blue, and then blue. And then Connie's book is purple. So I was like, I don't know where the hell to put that. Connie. Over here is like the big, big books. I somehow have two editions of Alice in Wonderland. This is one that I had when I was a kid. And then this is like a new edition for like the 150th anniversary or something. That's Charlie's Fun Science book. I think this is like a massive graphic novel. I should probably read that. This is the Institute of Sexology book that the Welcome Collection did. Oh my God, come on, we got this. Ooh. Yeah, there was an exhibit they had and this is like the book that goes along with the exhibit. There's probably stuff in here that can't be shown on YouTube. Oh yeah, there's a dick. Lots of cool stuff from the exhibit. I don't know what I can show you. That looks like some sex toys, the oldie sex toys. Collection of sexual aids in a wooden box, Japanese, 1930 to 39. Ooh. Finally, we have 
the party book. Now, if you know me, I like planning and I also like planning my birthday about six months in advance. And this was my book when I was a kid that I would plan my party from. And there's like loads of different themed parties you can have that are probably, now that I think about it, really culturally appropriative. There's a treasure chest cake in here. And the reason why I have this is because it was still at home and I just want to like do a video where I remake this treasure chest cake. Oh, also, when I first got this from home, I was like, showing it to this guy that I was dating at the time. I was like, look, look, this is my party book when I was a kid. And he was like, fuck, because he's afraid of clowns. Oh, it's not funny. Take your phobias very seriously. My favorite book on here, Jesus. I was gonna say The Martian, but I realized I don't own The Martian because when I read The Martian, I borrowed it from Liam. Perhaps Trumpet by Jackie Kay. Vivian versus the Apocalypse as like a YA fun novel. What else have we got? What else have we got? Mm, 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 mm. This is Sarah Knight's other book, Get Your Shit Together, but The Life Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck, which is currently on loan to Lucy, would recommend. The Good Immigrant is amazing. 21 Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic Writers. And they talk about what it means to be BAME in Britain today. Oh! Distributable History of Frankie Landau Banks. That is a good book. The book I've read the most times here is probably Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and I've read that three times. I don't reread. Not a rereader. There is a very quick tour of my bookshelf. Hope you enjoyed. If you've spotted anything on here, please let me know if I should read it. If you're like, that one, that one you should read next. Maybe I'll bump it to the priority pile down here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Yeah, let me know in the comments your recommendations, preferably something that I already own so I don't have to go out and buy new books. That would be great. Don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every week.